What's up fam, it's Kemi. I'm here to share five things to know before getting your Sister Lux. One is expense. Making sure you consider your finances before getting Sister Lux. Trust me, it is an investment to get your Sister Lux. Uh, the package comes with three different things. One, your consultation, meeting with your consultant, talking about your Sister Lux, what you want, how you want them, the length of your hair, all of that good stuff. Two is the installation, getting your sister locks installed. And three is the follow up four to six week re retightening session. That whole package can run from $650 to $1,200. Depending on the length of your hair, it could be more, more within you know that range, like it could be $800, $900, $1,000. Could be less, depending on if your hair is shorter. That's the thing is expense with sister locks. Number two, maintenance. Sister locks are low maintenance once they're locked. Within the first six months, they are very high maintenance. You have to make sure that you're getting your retaining sessions in, otherwise they will slip and fall. You have to start that whole process over again. So making sure you actually go to your retaining sessions, people, okay? Getting those done and preventing any slippage that happens. I mean, it may happen, of course, but making sure that it's done sooner than later in order to get the locking you know, process going and continuing. Number three, time. It takes a very long time to get your sister locks installed. Ranges from 16 to 30 hours. I got mine done in 23 hours. 13 on one day, 10 on the next. So making sure that you know that, I think sister locks, is different from all other locking methods versus the comb, what's that called? Comb curls, palm rolling, all those stuff. It takes a long time to get sister locks installed. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is time as in getting the locking process started, making sure your, the lock is fully locked. Mine became fully locked uh, six months after I got them installed. It may be longer if you have finer hair. It may be a year until it's fully locked. It may be four months, you know, until it's fully locked, depending on the coarseness of your hair when you first started. So that's one thing about time, and you can grow impatient. That's the, another thing with all locks is growing impatient, and getting your hair locked, getting those luscious, locks flowing and shaking and everybody want to get dreads and locks and sister locks to shake what they got on top of their head but patience is definitely a factor before getting any type of lock installed number four is finding the right consultant people making sure that you have a certified sister locks consultant not just any old joe making sure that they're certified on the sister locks website Either if they're a consultant or a trainee being a consultant, choosing one of those, making sure that they know that they are certified and went through the classes and all that good stuff. Um, and if you went to someone else who wasn't certified and they say, you know, they can do the same thing, but say they charge $400, nah fam. If you pay cheaper, you're going to get cheaper, you know, you want to get the best quality results of your sister locks. So making sure you find the right consultant. Number five, how you start your hair off initially. So making sure that you have at least an inch and a half of, un, of natural unprocessed hair. So you can, your hair can be relaxed and you can get sister locks. You don't have to cut off your relaxed hair. Everyone says you need to cut off your hair. You don't need to cut off your hair. Making, just make sure that you have at least an inch and a half of unprocessed hair so that there is you know some locking that's initially started that something can hold on to it and be locked secure and get the thing started you feel me all right fam that's all i have right now hope this video helped you guys out if you have any questions please ask i'll try to the best of my ability to answer them Cold like a tick tock. You've got a pop belly like Rick Ross. <laughs> Stiff gal, do the tick tock. Big mouth gal, where your lips gone? Where? I ain't got time to be tick tock. No.